Hey guys, Olivia here, and I'm here to talk about doctors prescribed suicide from the perspective of a teenager. Our country and our world is at a crossroads when it comes to pro-life issues. The complete definition of pro-life being protecting the dignity of life from conception until natural death, from womb to tomb. As a world, we're facing decisions about the end of life in the form of physician-assisted suicide, also known as doctor-prescribed suicide, or DPS. Many countries have already legalized it, and a handful of states in the U.S. have authorized it as well. The argument is that it would end suffering. But from a Catholic perspective, it sends the message that the person is a burden, that they have a mission, and their life is sacred with dignity and worth as they were created in the image and likeness of God. Even still, it has the possibility of being legal in Massachusetts within the next year, which brings up a whole host of issues. If we're Catholics and we have dignity and worth as we were created in the image and likeness of God, there's no mental health check, so the vast majority of people who request DPS have treatable mental illness. And sometimes it's requested on behalf of the family with no say from the sick person. And it also allows these drugs to circulate, sending the message that life is disposable. We have other options, like palliative care. We need to care for these people until their jobs are finished on earth and care for the entire person. To be quite honest and very vulnerable, I'm so glad that this wasn't legal and was not an option in Massachusetts when my grandfather came to the end of his life a few months ago. He needed to be loved and cared for in those last days, and as hard as it was for him and for us, I would never want him to feel the pressure from anywhere that he was a burden. No, he was a beloved child of God, and everyone deserves to be treated with that dignity. Death with dignity is taking up our cross and living out God's will until the very end. Thanks for listening. If you want to find out more about my adventures as a young changemaker, you can visit my website, oliviarosart.com, or find me on Twitter as Olivia Rosart.